Recently, the nation's commander-in-chief of armed forces, President Muhammad Buhari, directed the military to take the battle to the bandits. In a prompt support, the military veterans are promptly offered their key support and are keen to play key roles in sweeping insecurity out of Nigeria. This is the outcome of the five-day seminar organized by the military national hierarchy in Yola. During the program, Six lectures were presented by resource persons, including seven and retired personnel, in line with the theme of the seminar. Top provoking issues were brought during the discourse, while a number of resolutions that could lead to the effective war against insecurity were preferred. Events of this nature, because it is very important uh, in the sense that it will add to their wealth of experience and also the system will equally benefit from their various experiences. The resolution included the need for veterans to engender nationalism through patriotic disposition while they checkmate the preponderance of corruption and ethno-religious sentiment in their localities. The session also called on the army to announce the wealth of experience of the veterans for enhanced national security, just as the veterans were encouraged to key into the local security in form of community policing to tackle the challenges holistically. We are to sit up and help ourselves, help the nation. The Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Farouk Yaya, was represented by Director, Veterans Affairs Directorate, Major General M.T. Durowiye. He thanked the participants for their robust engagement and viable contributions which contributed. For the past 11 days, the Osho State Governor elect had been evading court service over the petition against him by the All Progressives Congress and Governor Adeguye Gawitola. On Monday, counsel to the petitioners, Yomi Liu, brought an application for substituted service on the second respondent before the tribunal. The application was granted by the chairman of the tribunal who ordered that the document be pasted on the notice board of the tribunal for the attention of the second respondent. The tribunal also ordered the first respondent, the Independent National Electoral Commission, to allow both the first and second petitioners access to materials used for the conduct of the election and to also scan the ballot papers used for the election. Brought two applications. One application was for subject service. The other application was for inspection of documents. So those are the two applications. And you know when we're arguing the application, we refer to one exhibit where the belief said he went to serve the second respondent in Nede. The gate was locked. He knocked the gate. They asked him to speak with somebody. He spoke with that person. And the next thing the person told him was like a threat. So he had to leave the place for his quoting him now. I left the place for my safety. So that's what he wrote in the ends. We applied to court and the court has granted it. A few months after Bello Batoli's resumption in office as the Zamfara State Governor in 2019, he introduced a peace dialogue with bandits as a way of ending the over a decade long issues of banditry, cattle rustling, and kidnapping for ransom. Several bandits, including Awolu Dawdawa, who masterminded the abduction of students in Kankara Kasina State in December 2020, publicly surrendered their arms and told the path of peace. Barely two years into the program, some of the bandits returned to the bush and resumed operations. A development that forced the state governor Bello Matawali in September 2021 to cancel the peace dialogue and direct citizens to defend themselves against any attack. Since then, several bandit groups had gained notoriety operating in several parts, with bandit leader Bello Truji particularly feared for how brutally his gang operated. Now he has decided to embrace peace and further threaten to deal with any bandit who refuses to stop attacking communities and highways. It is not surprising that the State Committee on Prosecution of Banditry and Related Offenses is taking his truth offer with a pinch of salt. It insists that until Bell Turji publicly surrendered his arms and renounces publicly, they will not consider him serious. In fairness to him, he repented. But yet, he's yet to surrender his arms and arms and this man has come. Once you say you, you repent, you have to submit all your guns 
All your rocket launchers, all your machine gun, all your AK-47, AK-49, arms and ammunition, military uniform, police uniform, and even motorcycles. <laughs> 